This clip will introduce you to how you can use the font section of the ribbon to change the way your fonts look. I have some text here, which if I highlight, I can select that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to center that text, actually. That's a paragraph function, but I'm going to center that text. Now I'll go ahead and change the font. Now notice that when I select the font and I drag down my font list, that the font, I can actually see the font changing on the right hand side. So I can actually see what my text looks like in that new font. Now I know that Green Hill School is supposed to be Palatino, but I have actually fallen in love with the Algerian font. It looks really cool. So, sorry Tom, it's Algerian today. Now we can take that same font and we can change its size and you'll notice that as I drag this down the, the page again, different sizes, I can see that font actually increase. So I can find something that looks good to me and I can go ahead and release that. And You'll see now that I have one page of that text with that new font. Now perhaps I want to change the color of a word. Well, here's my color icon. Well, I could, if I just click the, the color that shows there, it'll change it in this case to red. But let's see if we can find maybe a green or a gold. Since the word is green, perhaps we can find a green right now that's it's fairly close. Oh, that's not very close at all. But uh, we could actually try and mix our colors and choose a new color off of this, uh, this list right here. So there we go. Welcome back to Green Hill School. Uh, these are just different ways that you can use the fonts, uh, the font tool to change your fonts. If you wanted to uh, do subscripts, you could do subscripts, you could do superscripts, you could do strike throughs. All of these are right here in this font section. Again, that's the font section of the ribbon.